welcome students in this video we will try to complete awp advanced web programming practical number 1c looking at this practical let's try to understand what exactly it requires to be done in this practical but before i start this practical what i will do it while i discuss it i will just start the visual studio so it will be saving our time and i already created one new uh, project with a new console application it might be 12 13 14 or you can specify the name the language is c sharp platform is windows the type of application is console console of dotnet framework then you're going to click on next console application 13 user name is also 13 dotnet framework is 4.7 i created the project now let us start discussing about this question what is this question is all about this says question says create an application that receives the student ID, student name, course name, date of birth, information from a set of students. An application should also display the information of all the student once data is being entered. So, here develop karna hai program ko do hai. You can create an array of student ID, student name, course name, date of birth. Like you can create this uh, four different variables arrays or you can implement something about structure. I will prefer to utilize and write the program by using the structure. You can write the same program by using the classes source. And the beauty of the C sharp, C sharp allows you to create the functions inside the structure. So let us focus how to write the application. I need to switch many a time for reading the question. I may be forgetting consa consa member lena. So what I'm interested, I'm interested in first of all creating the structure. How can you create the structure? In C sharp, the structure will be created by using a keyword called a structure followed by the name of the structure. What is the structure? In the classroom, when you're learning from me, you know what is the structure. So in structure, I am providing the name of structure as what is a student. And here, I'm interested in creating the members of the structure. The members of the structures need to be student ID, student name, student ID I will prefer as an integer one. So I provide integer student ID. I provide string student name. What next need you want? They need course name. So I'm providing string C name for the course name. What next they are expecting? Date of birth. Date of birth. Kill me kartao. Int DD for a day. MM for month. YY for year. So these are what members which are created by me inside what your structure. And then I will be creating an array of the structure. See, instead of creating the individual array of student ID, student name, uh, course name, date of birth, instead of creating the separate arrays, it is better to add it inside a structure and create an array of what your structure. Now we can accept the values by creating the methods inside a structure also. But right now, I don't think so. No practical, no one C. Itna beginning me wo expected rahega aap logon se. So I am not going to create a method inside a structure. I will be plainly going to write a program where I am creating an array of structure and completing the work. So what is my first task? Is my first task is to ask the user how many student information you would like to accept. So I am providing over here a simple statement by saying console dot uh, write and saying uh, how many students information you want to accept and then that uh, number of n value will be accepted by me so i provided n n equal to n dot parse in the bracket console dot read line so this will be accepting the value from the user and providing the value inside what your n so n can there kya aage kitna number of student ka information accept karna. And now I would like to create an object of the structure named as a student. So how can I create an object of the uh, structure named as a student is simple. We can provide what your student. Uh, array I need to create first. So I am creating an array by providing the name as maybe all students. So this is all student equal to new. Maybe I am providing the student and the array and the size of the array I may be providing over here as n. So n kya ho number of elements of the all student. 
and the end value has been accepted from the user only or you can decide in, initially by saying 5 student information 10 student information but now go on accepting the value of SID, S name, course name, date of birth, that is DDMM, YY. And after accepting all the values, we need to display the value. And for accepting these number of values, we will try to utilize one for loop. So I'm writing a small for loop by saying for n i equal to 0 till i is less than n and i plus plus. You know that y it is less than n because any array always start from 0. So, if the length is going to be 5, it will be always 0 to 4. Now, I am planning to go for initializing the element by saying all students of i. i equal to 0, right? all students of 0 equal to new student. Now, further I am interested in going for accepting the values. How can I accept the values? Again, we have to display the message accept the value. So, I am displaying the message by saying console dot write and here providing the message as uh, what is the message? I need to accept the student ID. So I'm saying uh, enter student ID. So user to enter Then I'm providing over here that is all students of I dot SID. But I'm not getting SID over here. Now please remember that if you are not getting the members over here, it means the members are not declared as public. And if the members are not declared as public, then you are not getting those members to be accessed by an object of the structure. So I'll be declaring all these are public and everybody knows the default access specifier of C sharp is being internal. So I just use public over here. Again specifying public. So all members are public. And now if I'm trying to specify over here all students dot SID. So you can get SID over here. And here I mention in dot parse in the bracket console dot read line. So the value has been accepted from the user for the student ID. I would like to accept the value for the student name. So again, I'm providing console dot write. Here I'm providing enter student name. The name need to be what we can just store. So again, providing all students of I dot S name equal to I'm providing as console dot read line. So why not over here in dot parse because the member is of a string type and read line also accept what here string only. I need to accept the course name. So again I'm providing console dot write and the course name. The course name need to be what we can say stored inside all students of I dot course name it is c name so equal to again providing console dot read line so string values again need to be accepted so i am not specifying the in dot pass now date of birth need to be accepted so i need to accept the values by using what uh, three statement so i may be providing over here saying console dot write and uh, Then the day value will be specified by saying all students of i dot dd equal to in dot parse in the bracket console dot read line. Now sorry. Now here it comes. I am interested in giving the semicolon over here. Fine. Then again I am providing console dot write and a month. And the month need to be accepted. So saying all students of i dot mm equal to in dot parse in the bracket console dot read line. So the value accepted for the month converted into integer stored inside the mm. Then here again I'm specifying console dot write enter year. Year value need to be accepted. So here I'm trying to go for accepting year value by saying all students of i dot yy equal to in dot parse in the bracket console dot read line. Fine. So now the values will be accepted over here by using this for loop for n number of students. So once that has been done, what they are expecting in our practical, they say is in a practical, the application should also display the information. For all the students where data is what been entered. 
सो जो एक्सेप्ट हुआ है वो वापस डिस्प्ले करना इज बिंग क्वाइट इजी ना सो चलो एक काम करेंगे डिस्प्ले करने का काम ना हम लोग एक फंक्शन से करते हैं थोड़ा आपको भी समझ में आएगा कि स्ट्रक्चर के अंदर फंक्शन भी बनते हैं इवन इफ एक्सेप्ट करने का काम भी हम लोग फंक्शन में कर सकते थे बट आई विल बी ट्राइंग टू डू इट बाई यूजिंग वन फंक्शन सो आई जस्ट राइट पब्लिक वाइड डिस्प्ले and in display i am trying to display the value of sid s name and c name as well as date of birth so i am writing console dot uh, right line uh, here i am providing student id plus sid then i am providing console dot right line student name plus s name Further, I am trying to provide over here console dot right line course name. थोड़ा सा अलग कर रहा हूँ मैं. Actually, accept नाम का function बना के भी कर सकते तो अच्छा लगता था. But दोनों का आपको idea आना चाहिए. यहाँ पे display के जगह पे आप एक और एक function बना सकते हैं accept करके. तो instead of writing such a bigger program in a main, the program is what been classified in a function and then only functions need to be called inside main. So it will reduce the Line of code also, and the code will be what much more easier to read also. So I am writing C name over here. Then again providing console dot write line. Here I am interested in displaying the value. So first I would like to display what zero. I would like to display dd slash one. I would like to display as mm slash. I would like to display what two as what year year. And then providing over here dd mm and yy. So what is done by you? This is called as a marker concept in C sharp. So zero is a position. So double quotes के बाद में comma के बाद में जो first variable है, it is termed as what is zero. So dd value will be displayed over here, mm value displayed over here, and yy value is what getting displayed over here. Fine. Student id, student name as well as the course name and date of birth. Is been displayed, so I may mention over here as uh, date of birth. So this is another technique in the classroom we had learned about this technique that how to implement the markers. So the same techniques I am trying to use. Now let us try to complete the for loop, which will be displaying all the accepted student information. So you can now see the beauty is what it is quite easy for to manage the show. Maybe I am trying to provide console dot right line and maybe displaying some stars. थोड़ा सा लुक एंड फिल बेटर करने के लिए एंड मे बी सेइंग एक्सेप्टेड स्टूडेंट इनफो थोड़ा डबल स्टार इक्वलिटी कर सकते हो आप आप डिजाइनिंग में होशार रहेंगे सो लेट्स मूव अट एंड हियर आई नीड टू अगेन इंप्लीमेंट अ फॉर लूप सो हियर आई एम गोइंग विद अ फॉर लूप सॉरी सो फॉर लूप अगेन प्रोवाइडिंग इन टाई इक्वल टू जीरो टिल आई इज लेस देन एन आई प्लस प्लस एंड यू कैन सी द ब्यूटी नाउ Because I had created a function, my code has been quite nice and quite simple. What I will be doing, I will be saying all students of I dot display. So display will be displaying the contents, and uh, after each student or after uh, before each student, I would like some dash should be displayed. So I can display it here too by saying console dot right line. A little bit of look and feel for coming. A little bit of double dash. I put something. एंड वही सेम स्टेटमेंट एंड में भी डाल दिया तो हर एक का वैल्यू क्या होगा ना सेपरेट सेपरेट दिखाई देगा सो फाइन सो दिस वर्क इज व्हाट बीन डन बाय अस एंड नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू ट्राई टू रन द प्रोग्राम लेट्स सी वेदर द आउटपुट इज कमिंग प्रॉपर्ली और नॉट बट यू नो दैट आई नीड टू वेट फॉर अ की स्ट्रोक सो आई एम यूजिंग ओवर हियर कंसोल डॉट रीड की सो आई एम वेटिंग फॉर अ की स्ट्रोक इन 2019 इट इज नॉट नीडेड सो आई रन द प्रोग्राम सो प्रोग्राम इज बीन बिल्ड सक्सेसफुली इट आस्क मी How many? Just a little bit of font size. Bada dete. Apne ko samajh nikla. Thoda sa asan jayega. So I just increase the font size. It say how many student information would like to accept. I just say I would like to accept the information of two students. So now it asks me enter the student ID. I am providing student ID is twelve. Student name is A B C D. Course name is B S C I T. And uh, date of birth is twelve twelve two thousand twelve. Acha lagta hai. Right. The second student information. Student ID. I am providing the student ID as maybe thirty-four. Sorry, it asks me the student name. I am given a name as Popo. My favorite name. Type as I say, just to. I am providing the course name as B.Sc. Computer Science. 
आई एम प्लानिंग टू प्रोवाइड द डेट ऑफ बर्थ एज वन वन टू अभी वह पैदा हो गया ठीक है सो आई प्रेस एंटर ओवर हियर एंड नाउ यू कैन सी द आउटपुट विच इज गेटिंग डिस्प्लेड ओवर हियर दैट एक्सेप्ट स्टूडेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन दिस इज माई फर्स्ट स्टूडेंट दिस इज वॉट माई सेकेंड स्टूडेंट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दीज काइंड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन विच नीड टू बी डन एंड दिस इज द प्रोग्राम विच नीड टू बी डन फॉर योर प्रैक्टिकल नंबर वन सी नो क्लास आई मे बी शेयरिंग सम काइंड ऑफ गुड लिंक्स विथ दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो and only the students and uh, candidates which are subscribing they will be sharing some additional study materials also uh, with these videos so i expect that whenever those links comes please try to share your uh, information and for getting such kind of updates please uh, like the channels like the video subscribe the channel uh, that will be helping you to get to know about the new new videos which are uh, updated by us thanks a lot